Did I, the passenger? These are sidecar outfits designed and used exclusively on Australian speedways. Raked at an angle of 30 degrees, these machines actually topple over if unsupported. From the Apple Isle of Tasmania, Henry Bishop and Greg Lilico. For heat 12 of the 1980 Australian Sidecar Best Bears Championships, and here we see Mark and Gary Trelaw. And the Tasmanians, Henry Bishop and Peter Sheriff. Now spotting them for you in the blue and gold letters, Peter Sheriff from Tasmania. White helmets, white jackets with the number eight. Henry Bishop. Black and white leathers, Gary Trelaw. Green and gold leathers, Mark Trelaw. This one, but Gary Trelaw is eventually going to run out 
up the winner. Peter Sheriff is going to take second place, and he's done a great job for the Tasmanians tonight. Mark Trelaw is third, and Henry Bishop comes home in fourth place. Henry Bishop from Tasmania is uh, having a bit of trouble with the heat here tonight. Uh, Henry, uh, how are you feeling at the moment? Uh, we're going out again, but we're just going to go out for the ride. We've had a too hot. Um, you had a couple of good rides earlier on, uh, Henry. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a shame. Well, it is a shame, but we haven't been riding well tonight. Was, the heat's got to us right from the word go. Oh, well, um, you know, we, we can only sympathise. We're used to it up here, and I suppose it's a it's a fair way to come, and uh, it's a lot hotter up here than Tassie, but all the best, Henry. Yeah, I'd like to have the rest of the boys down home, actually. We're in our temperature, and we'd be right down now. Riding up on the line next to him is Lyndon Slyne from the Territory. Three out. From Tasmania, Daryl Howe. And on the outside, the man that's doing all the hard work for the Territory at the moment, the great Bruce Turner. Let's see if Brucey Baby can make it three out of three. And of course, we can't forget his lovely wife, Norma, who's hanging on to grim death there behind him. I've got a pretty big one hanging off my chest, but by Jeepers, she does a tremendous job. Getting set for a start now. Oh! Lovely anticipation there by Lyndon Slyne. Let's have a look at them as they go into the corner for the first time. There's uh, helmet colours flying off everywhere, but I think it's Lyndon Slyne who's out at front at the moment. Lyndon Slyne at the moment in second place. I think it's... Uh, let's have a look. No, it's not Lyndon Slyne. It's uh, number eight, Henry Bishop out there in first place. Oh, and a little bit of a touch-up there at the moment by Bruce Turner. And uh, Lyndon Slyne, Bruce Turner coming up to the front now. Boy, geez, he's given uh, Henry Bishop a hell of a run in this one. He's got to pick him back in one and a half laps. Lyndon Slyne running in second place at the moment. But it's the Tasmanian with all the breath in front of him at the moment. Right up there in second place is Lyndon Slyne. Back there to Bruce Turner. And in fourth place at the moment, it's Daryl Howell. Oh, the two Territory boys coming hard together there. And as they come through to pick up the checkered flag, it big points Tasmanian's way. And there's a hairbreadth there between Turner and Slyne. And, oh, gee, I think Turner might have just got there. Four times Tasmanian champion, and seeing Tasmania has never won the national crown, he's extra keen at Liverpool tonight. Welcome Henry Bishop and John Platt from La Trobe in Tasmania. Number nine, another South Australian pairing. We wish safety and success to Kim McConnell and swinger Stephen Lewis. Turner is the first one up in the blue helmet colour. Trelaw on the inside of him in red. Brian Schultz on the outside and Henry Bishop of Tasmania in the white moving up now to position number three. Well, there's the field as we look across the tapes and we're ready for the start.
off to a good start and Trelaw gets away better this time. Turner does too and Turner goes through to take over the lead. Trelaw will not give up and he gives Turner a bit of the old curry as they go down the back straight away but Bishop now goes through and Turner comes down with his wife Norma Turner, the both of them down arm in arm. Lighting up again for heat number 14 minus Bruce Turner has been attended to by the ambulance man but he's quite okay. Ready for a start and Gary Trelaw gets away very smartly indeed with Brian Schultz on the outside as they head up into the first corner. They swing through turn number one and here's Schultz working to the outside and Henry Bishop coming up in the white helmet colour from Tasmania. Haven't seen much of him so far tonight. Swings to the outside. That's not the fast line. Round the circus they come down the front straight away into the top corner and it's Gary Trelaw and Bishop down on the inside of the grass. Not the easiest place to pass. Schultz I think has been frightened out of it as they go down the back straight away and Bishop now starting to come good when it really can counts and Trelaw has put his hand up Bishop goes out knocks one of the markers over and Schultz now comes back through as Bishop goes through the infield sliding sideways and tips it upside down but he's quite okay there's Bishop on the infield and by process of elimination there's your race winner Brian Schultz of South Australia well, I don't think there's anything left to go wrong in this race Schultz is the so lone survivor and here he comes around the bottom corner the crowd giving him a good reception as well Goodness gracious me, what a race. Schultz just shakes his head in disbelief. Meanwhile, up near the pole, uh, where our um, visitors came off, Henry Bishop, who looks so good. There's Bishop there with his passenger. And Gary Trelaw put his hand up, you can see in the background over there. I don't know whether Bishop has bogged the machine and the turf and the infield. But he emptied the pair of them off. Schultz just has a look over his shoulder. And all the action seems to be down here on the infield. Schultz just shrugs his shoulders. So as they come round, it's uh, Henry Bishop on the inside in the red. The rider in the blue is uh, Ron Matho, Tasmania. Now, Keith Sewell is out there, and already we have a problem with the helmet colours to identify him, but Sewell is in the number two position, so you can pick him from there. It's Bishop on the inside, then Sewell, then Mather, then Popjoy. Bishop, Sewell, Mather and Popjoy lining up for the first heat of the Australian Best Bears Championship. Bishop, Sewell, Mather and Popjoy. Here they go. Bishop got away well and so too did Sewell, the Queenslander, into the corner and it's Sewell that leads away here from Bishop Popjoy, Popjoy going up quickly there, uh, but it's Sewell the leader. Sewell leading away here from Henry Bishop, followed by Dennis Popjoy and then Mather at the tail of the field. But Sewell, the Queenslander, doing it nicely down the straightaway. Henry Bishop going out after him here in the corner. Uh, but Sewell, the leader, Bishop taking the high line, is getting up to him here. And that's uh, a great performance by Bishop as he went around him in the corner. And it's Bishop now that takes up the running from Sewell. Bishop from Sewell, followed by Popjoy and then later. Down they go into the corner again, and it's Henry Bishop of Tasmania. Keith Sewell of Queensland, then Dennis Popjoy representing Queensland. And at the tail of the field is Mather the Tasmanian. Here they come, one lap to go from here, and it's Henry Bishop the leader. Henry Bishop, Keith Sewell, Dennis Popjoy, and uh, the Tasmanian uh, Ron Mather. Down under the timer goes the leader from the Apple Isle of Tasmania, and that's Henry Bishop. Round the corner he comes, the checkered flag is out, and Bishop earns the three points. Bishop first, Sewell second, Popjoy third. Bishop in first place, Sewell of Queensland second, Popjoy was third.